you know, you can you come up with a niche. Money. You could make you a lot of money. Well, the, the riches are in the niches, or I guess as we say. Oh, yeah, that's that so good. There's a lot of people think, oh, I can't really do what I want because I won't make the money or won't get respect or whatever. Board designated master coach. Yeah. I find it interesting that people who have high paying jobs are almost the, the, the best candidates to go out and try their own thing yeah. because they can take advantage of the tax write-off. Yeah. What was the very first moment in time yeah. that you knew that you wanted to give up the whole nine to five? I'll get a secure job, which you know, there's no such thing. Unless Not you're anymore. An no, unless you're an entrepreneur, there's no such thing as a secure job. Entrepreneurs initially will work like no one will. So in the future, they can live like no one can. Okay, now I'm at this awesome place. Yeah, Let invest. me invest yeah. in myself. Let's check out James on Unleash Your Power, P-W-R? Or P-O-W. Wow, cool. cool. Right. I'm walking down the street, hopefully I don't get mugged. <laughs> this is like cash cab to the 10th to the max. extreme. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Wind, Google, Google. Google. Just Mobile. James. You waiting for Uber? Yeah, yeah. You can come in the front. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Larson. Good. James, how are you? Good, let me just close the cup hole there. Thank you, sir. Just having a drink before you came in. Nice, nice. Okay. So are we still going to the same destination? Yes, thank you. Before we kind of get on the road, you'd be like, why is there a camera here? And why am I all these cables here? All kinds of stuff, all kinds of tech. Yes. And you're on something called the Uber Experiment, which is a business entertainment reality show that Very we're filming cool. in Toronto. Very cool. So we drive around Toronto, we talk to uh, people about business, ideas, and passion. And to show that I am legitimate, nice. here's a business card. Business card. Very cool. You're going to duck me or anything. And then you're like, why is there a <laughs> smile on the back, right? Because we also have giveaways. This is like cash cab to the 10th to the extreme exactly okay, okay. in order to get the swag i need to learn something from you so we can go to your destination and on a route we can talk about you know who james really is sounds or you know we can good. have a very quiet dull conversation <laughs> nah. let's have a fun, uh, fun yeah? trip make it interesting, all right so right? before we do i do need you to put on the mic and you're a very safe driver just right, so okay, you know <laughs> that's helpful and for all the audience watching this is a green screen once again because <laughs> everyone's like commenting how can you do all this when you drive? <laughs> yeah, multitasking <laughs> there you go how do you Perfect. feel about multitasking uh, you know what? I used to be. I used to think I was the king multitasker, and then I realized there's no such thing as multitasking. Humans can only do one thing really, really well. A, it would stress me out, and B, I wouldn't be fully present in any of them. And then I think a lot of people do that. Run around. It depends all day. what your business is, right? Uh, you have a business card, by the way. Like, I do. I do actually. Let me. You are a board designated master coach. Yeah. What's NLP stand for? NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Program. What? I think Tony Robbins of Canada, basically. <laughs> so we've got a Tony Robbins of Canada. That's that's like high praises. You must be confident. Public speaking, know. workshops, training, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah. Unleash your power, love your life, be the man you seek to be. You got it. Where yeah. were you born and what did you want to be when you were five years old? Uh, so born in Pickering and uh, grew up a lot in uh, out east Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. I... I didn't know. I guess a lawyer was one of the. <laughs> you look like one a lawyer. Of the, yeah, lawyer or a liar. <laughs> or a liar. Yeah, yeah, you know. So grew up in out east and then um, moved back uh, to Toronto about I don't know, 20, 22 years ago or so. So it's uh, I've grown out you know east and and GTA as well. So it's been pretty cool. It's had a lot of experiences, um, a lot of bullying too actually. Bullying. Uh, bull yeah, out east of all places, you think people are so nice out east, and they are. It's just it can be a little clicky sometimes. What kind of bullying. You know, picked on, called loser. You know, you know, women didn't want to date me back then. Um, women you know, still don't want to date me. Friend. <laughs> friends, we should talk. Uh, do you have any siblings? Uh, yep, yeah. uh, brother, two sisters. Uh, they're all uh, younger than me. They're all married with babies. Are and they I'm, lawyers I'm or? No. <laughs> no lawyers. No lawyers. No. no, they all do. A couple of them are entrepreneurs. One works oh. for uh, for Hydro, which is kind of cool. So, would you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And definitely. Uh, what about your family, your parents? Um, they're corporate corporate people. Mom's a nurse which is pretty cool so she uh, she's pretty caring and what was the very first moment in time yeah. that you knew that you wanted to give up the whole nine to five did you even have a nine to five ever uh, yeah yeah I did I work for uh, work for IBM and Novell years ago too so I did that did the nine to five a lot of people think oh I can't really do what I want because I won't make the money or won't get respect or whatever now I have far more respect from people being an entrepreneur and I make more money than when I was at corporate uh, it was the scariest thing and most awesome thing I've ever done but the awesome came 
how long after you, um, the scary part? It was scary as the hell at first. It right. was a lot of work. It was a grind at first. During one of the, the heights of my sales career, I got laid off, and I thought, all right, someone or something is is answered my 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 request because I've been like, I hate this. I want to get out of here. People who have high paying jobs are almost the, the, the best candidates to go out and try their own thing yep. because they can take advantage of the tax write offs. Yep. But in reality, they just don't. They get lazy and comfortable. They're also comfortably uncomfortable. So it's kind of the illusion of peace or the illusion of comfort. It's like the person who sits at home on the couch drinking beer and chips versus going to the gym because he's like, oh, this is safer. I don't have to put out any effort. But he's not happy. Just mm -hmm. like, again, I was years ago and a lot of people at, at a job where, again, it might pay really well or they may not have to work very hard for the money they make. But they're not happy. They're again, they're comfortably uncomfortable. I like that because I like that. I'm gonna have you pick a card. Ah, nice. nice. So what what we do here is we have sponsors. Red light card game. Basically, the audience sees what we've got here. <laughs> We're gonna shuffle this around, and then whatever you pick, you get. So go ahead, you pick. Let's see, let's see. I'll do. And this is so the audience knows that we're not cheating. Let's do this first one right here. Okay, what do you got? Point, wind. point out the camera. Wind. This is wind. wind. I get some wind. You get some wind. <laughs> All right. Here. So thank you so much to our sponsor, <laughs> Wind. Let me just. There you go. There <laughs> is the, all the wind. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Wind. Whoa. So Wind is world's smallest portable air purifier so you can use this in your home or your office or on a plane thank you so much to win thank you win and most people think they, they have to do something versus something they want to do so whether it's their religion or their culture religion or, oh you mean they're controlled by that aspect you, yeah, of the life you got it yeah this pressure you know to you know be a whatever accountant or a doctor or a lawyer or whatever and those when, are extremely well-paid positions well, they, exactly and, and respected and that's also i guess why people cave because they're like well my family wants this or society or culture says this i need to have the hot car and the hot wife or hot husband and the hot house and have all this money to when they want to be i don't know a basket weaver you know you can you come up a with a money. niche you can make you a lot of money well, the, the riches are in the niches or i guess as we oh say, yeah, that's that so good and because of that <laughs> One more, one, one more thing. Oh, you, like, you like my little, uh, little uh, cliches, rich. Huh? I like the uh, riches, riches is in the niches. In the niches. Brother, so, you got it. Go ahead. Let's see here. Uh, let's go. Let's go with this. This guy here. What do you, what do you got? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Google. Google. Free Gmail account. How would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So what do we got? So we got Google. Do you have an assistant, by the way, like as an entrepreneur? Uh, it doesn't matter because you get a virtual assistant no by Google. That's awesome. So thank you so much. <laughs> Google, Google. Google. What is it? Google well, the Google. I can't give you another card, no, man. No. <laughs> Google the Google. Google the Google. It's yours. Cheers. Much of a less. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Google. Okay. Very cool. Why couldn't you just get smiles? Yeah. I could have taken this home. <laughs> with me <laughs> what was the first thing that you've ever did as an entrepreneur did you just go right into this coaching thing yeah it just it was natural I got laid off and I'm like you know what it's time to do something I love I'd always get you know due to pressures get a good job get a secure job which you know there's no such thing unless not you're anymore an no unless you're an entrepreneur there's no such thing as a secure job you know going back to what we said before people they're not living their passion they're doing what they think they need to do or what society or family or culture religion says they need to do or that they have to do something they hate because it pays well and people say, "Well, I, I, I gotta pay my bills. Like, I can't make, I you know, yeah. can't make money doing what I love." And I'm like, that's 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 bullshit. You know, I have a, I have a friend. He makes little plastic cups. You know, that you know, fill like the ketchup and mustard and stuff, and McDonald's and all those places. He, he has the machines that inject the plastic in the molds, and he makes what? all these little, really? little little plastic, and he makes millions of dollars doing it. I'm oh. like, that's his passion, apparently. What, in your opinion, are the three common traits of an entrepreneur? Someone who will never give up. Stuff happens, right? And the first few years of business can be can be challenging. So just literally never ever give up no matter what. You know where there's a will, there's a way. And people they just they get one stopped at one roadblock or just something comes up. Oh I can't do it, I guess I'll give up. When when no, there's there's always another way to do something. Extreme discipline, like you know, staying in on a Friday night to make sales calls or do marketing stuff or design a presentation or do admin work when people are out partying. Entrepreneurs initially will work like no one will, so in the future they can live like no one can. I.e., I'm going to go to the cottage for four days this weekend because I want to. I'm taking two weeks at the end of August off because I want to. I'm going to Thailand in November because I want to. And I don't have to ask anyone permission. It's easier said than done. I have trouble staying in one area because I like learning so much. Yep, fair enough. So I can go and brand myself yep. as a company or individual in any market. That's my skill. Makes sense. You're, you're the three things of an entrepreneur that you, you hit on, probably one of the biggest ones, is always learning, always being developing yourself, self-development, personal development even. The more 
you develop yourself, uh, the more money you make. Because you, as an entrepreneur, you, you are your business. You have to be a salesman as an entrepreneur. You're always in sales if you're an entrepreneur. Sales now, are you selling yourself more? Or is it more about you selling the product or the service that you're offering? It's about you. It's about you. Because people, they, they buy from who they know, like, and trust, right? People will buy, and I've seen it back in corporate, people buy an inferior product, or, or I've seen someone pay more for the same thing with someone they know, like, and trust. They're, they're, and they're, they're very happy to do that because they trust them, they know to get the results. What is the common thread and denominator between the issues that people have and what is like the one, two, three things that anybody can do? And people thinking they can't be themselves or be their true, th true selves because they'll get fired or piss people off or their bosses won't like them or their subordinates won't like them, their friends won't like them, their girlfriend, boyfriend won't like them. And, and if you're yourself and someone doesn't like you, that's okay if they leave your life. They should leave your they life. They should leave your life. Yeah, because someone else is going to come in your life that is is better for you and resonates with the true you. And you're going to be way happier, way healthier, and probably way wealthier too. Because you're being yourself. People can tell when someone's not authentic and they're just bullshitting. And again, the know, like, and trust thing. They're not going to buy from you if you're not being authentic with yourself, with who you are. I enjoy calling bullshit with people because it, it's it's empowering versus listening to all these stories. Oh, I can't because, or I'm not good enough because, or oh, you know, I can't become an entrepreneur because insert excuse here I call bullshit on it and from a caring way I guess that's what sets me apart too because instead of being nicey nice 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 coach like the Simon Cowell of coaching so uh, yeah you know it's no stop it no stop, stop it no <laughs> stop it when it comes from like a very caring place people they get it and it works very very well versus in your opinion how is Trump's oh god <laughs> way of dealing with the public and the way he's delivering his message. I, I respect Trump in a way because he gets things done. I, I was optimistic that he would get things done that Obama couldn't or did couldn't or didn't get done in the US. I was optimistic uh, that, uh, that Trump could do that. You know, not a fan of some things he's actually doing. <laughs> right. But it's interesting that he, he is getting some things done and again, some things he's doing are not ideal, but it's interesting his, his way of working gets things done. It's just about getting up and getting shit done. Yeah, you get shit then be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. Speak. Remember back in you know high school and public school, it wasn't cool to be yourself. You had to wear the labels and wear the same clothes as everyone. Yeah, the same yeah, stuff, Doc same music, and exactly, chains. all that yeah, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's cool to be different, and people that make the most people that are different make the most money. If anybody was to be interested in coaching services from anybody, what can they expect? So often a good coach knows people will resonate with them, and they give them value. People often buy, so we will give some of our time at no cost for people, usually about 25 minutes. How so do you we'll, gauge results? We measure, instead of you know feeling good, um, which just because you feel good about something doesn't mean you're successful, and just because you feel crappy about something doesn't mean you're not successful. Doing something new will always be uncomfortable. So we calibrate on behaviors. I mean, what are you going to be doing so that you'll know you're successful? So we create what's called evidence procedures. What is it called? Uh, evidence procedures. Evidence. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's evidence of how you know you're, you're successful, how you know you're there. You may not, like I can't guarantee you'll make a million dollars. I can guarantee how- I don't want you as a coach. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want you as a coach. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Never giving up. You're making many times that, many, many millions. It's only the first million that's the hardest. Well, there you go. It's the first, you know, number of pounds if you want to lose weight. Did you like, like the, what I just said? I love that. it. I love so it. You don't give me back the first million. You don't give back your <laughs> the first. Like I can't. I, I don't guarantee someone's going to lose, you know, sixty-seven point five pounds. What I will guarantee is your behaviors that'll help you get there. Right. Um, will uh, will get you there. Like you know, like you're going to the gym or you're eating right or you're doing this X times a week. It's true. If people are committed, they're more likely to do it. Yeah. Well, people often don't value things that are free, right? Like if a friend gives someone advice or gives them free yoga lessons or free whatever. Yeah, they don't. It's not often valued. Like you, you help someone do something and then like, oh yeah, thanks for the yoga lesson. I'm ne never going to do it again. Yeah. Versus they, you know, if someone pays for something, and mentally they're all in. So that that's a big thing too. What I, so what kind of free swag do you give away? To make sure I'm the right coach for people, I'll give uh, a 25 minute uh, complimentary coaching session uh, by phone or in person or Skype, just again to make sure I'm the right coach for them. And another thing, a really cool thing I do is I have an ebook that I wrote. It's seven things you need to know before you even hire a coach, which is cool. And I give it away for free. Whether someone wants to work with me or not, they just fill out a form on the website. For regular uh, people out there, yeah. um, if, they have, uh, if they don't have a support network, and they have a lot of naysayers because yep. usually that's what happens when you start a business. Yep. What's your uh, what's your advice to them? There's always going to be naysayers, uh, or, or I call it crabs in a bucket. I don't know if you've ever seen crabs in a bucket. It's so interesting, it's fascinating to watch. One will try to crawl out, and the other crabs collab it and and crawl back in, even though really? they're in a bucket. It's fascinating. I didn't think it was true until I saw it.
Yeah, the other crap. Pull it back down. It was, you know, misery loves company, right? So whether it's someone trying to lose weight and they're on a diet and their friend's bugging them to come out to a sports bar, come on, just have a few wings, have a few drinks. They're like, no, you know, screw yeah. off. I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> Someone's trying to start a business and another person, maybe they had a failed business or they're worried or they, again, misery loves company. They, they're they going to try and downplay that or tell their friend, oh, you know, it's too hard. They don't want to buy that or people won't buy from you or you can't be. Oh, I know a guy whose yeah. uncle's dog did it and it didn't work. Literally to ignore them and, and stay true to your purpose and your passion and why you want to do it in the first place. But it, you find the like-minded people, exactly. right? You find people you want to be like. You want to be fit. Find fit people. You want to be good talking to men and women. Go hang out with people who are good talking to men and women. You want to be a successful entrepreneur. Go find successful entrepreneurs. Go find a coach. How exactly. do you feel about Dr. Phil and all those TV people? One one thing I commend Dr. Phil on is is again just doing it. He took action. He started a show. Whether he's the best, you know. Psychologist, coach out there, psychiatrist. Is he a psychologist? psychiatrist? I think he's a psychologist, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Whether he's the best one or not is irrelevant. He got out there, he took action. So A is helping people, and B is making great money helping people. So he, whether he's the best or not, it's all about taking action. If you could find, like, in an alternate universe, you're a younger version of yourself, say, okay. and you could give yourself some advice, what would that be? Just to do it. You know, just say, screw it, just do it. Nothing gets done without action. I mean, uh, uh, a good plan, here's another one for you. Uh, a good plan today is better than a great plan tomorrow. Just start writing that book. Just start talking to people. Start coaching Yeah, just start writing that book. Start writing, just start writing it, you know? Yeah. Get it down, then get it right. You know the word satisfaction? Yeah, yeah. Satis is Latin for enough of. Ah, so enough of action, action gives you satisfaction. There you go, I love it, I love it. That's yeah. really cool, exactly. Yeah. Enough action will give you satisfaction because Ooh. if we're not taking action, we're anxious, we're worried, we're pissed off at ourselves because we're not taking action and we're uncomfortable. St we're still uncomfortable, we're not. We're still not happy. Yeah. So once you take action, get through the blast, through the discomfort and you know, be happy. And of course, you know, come talk to me and we'll, we'll focus on what it is you want and your passion. Clean up the past, clean up the stuff that's keeping you stuck, which is where a great coach will help. And the, the best, brightest, most successful people out there have lots of coaches. I mean, you think Obama, or you think even Trump, or do you think like Sir Richard Branson, or Elon Musk, or, or uh, oh, I can't remember the Facebook guy's name. Jo um, James Elliott. James Elliott. <laughs> do you think they do it all themselves? Of course not. They have all kinds of different advisors, I and mean, that's why they're so successful so quickly, helping so many people, making so much money. What do you people. think it's about in the end? Being happy, fulfillment, and happiness, and yeah. passion. So you just have to find yeah. what it is that will make you happy. Trust me, guys, money's not gonna make you happy. I mean, I see lots of people that they have lots of money. They're loaded and they're not happy. It's either. true. Yeah, they, they have to have uh, advice. Like like actors out there. Oh my god! Committing. So it's, it's it's a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-confidence, a lack of something, which is common in actors because what does an actor do? They act. They don't be themselves. They can be someone else. Oh. They're like always someone else, and they never have to fight with their own feelings and insecurities because they, they get to be someone else all the time. You got it. You are Thor, you are guy. That's you are so whatever. interesting. And when they're off, it's off, sometimes booze or drugs or whatever because they're they're not Thor, or they're not super. Or they haven't found the time to find themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they're what top three books would you recommend to people? Uh, for entrepreneurs, the E-Myth is pretty awesome. There's a book called uh, Rules for Renegades and it's for entrepreneurs and even people in corporate. And it's about how some will, some won't, who cares, someone else is waiting for you. Whether it's a client, whether it's a date, a woman, a man, a friend. If someone doesn't like who you are, that's cool. And that's probably a good thing because it means you stand for something. If someone doesn't like what you're standing for, it's probably safe to say you are standing for something versus trying to please everyone, which pleases no one. Mm -hmm. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, a really cool book as well. Uh, it's, it's not that a book will give you everything you need, although it's a good start to look into doing some changing and again breaking these habits that have kept us stuck all our lives that our, our internal five-year-old is, is making us do even though we don't want to do something. Whether it, or, or we want to do something and it's, it, you know, inner five-year-old's keeping us stuck because we're scared. If you have to give uh, one advice, your best advice, to people out there who want to do their own thing, what would that be? Do do what you want as long as you're prepared to never give up, as long as you're prepared to give it, you know, literally 110%, not, well, I'm going to try, because like Yoda says, you know, do it or not, there is no try. <laughs> that was a terrible Yoda, by do the way. Again. Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. Do or don't. Don't, you know, you can't try. Either, either if try, you know, predisposes failures. Have the intention in your mind that I am doing it no matter what and it's going to get done. And when you follow your passion, 
and do something you love, you'll, you'll, you're guaranteed to be successful. But the only way to fail is by sitting at home, twiddling your thumbs, thinking you're going to be successful by only doing social media. It's just a teeny piece. Hey! <laughs> hey! Okay, it's a big piece. Although it depends what you're doing, right? Like, yeah. yeah, you know, you and I hung out because you were out and about, not necessarily hiding behind your computer screen, right? Getting out there, taking action, realizing that instead of hiding at home, just getting out in the world. And yes, you know, meetups, social media, getting out there, finding things you enjoy to do. That way you'll have fun whether you meet someone or not, and people are more up to connect with you when you're out having fun doing cool like this doing things you'll enjoy right people are happy to and apt to connect with you so fun i'll give you one more nice. just for fun nice isn't that great driving around with a bunch of <laughs> a bunch expensive of gadgets a bunch of cool stuff i love it all right i love it Makes this one, one more one, one more, more card all right let's see uh, let's see what he gets card. go ahead pick, pick it mm. let's do Oh, let's do this middle one right here. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, we got we Tracker. Go. Okay, tracker got? is a Bluetooth enable. <gasps> no way. Oh my God, did I give it away? How about you get Just Mobile Woo! All Cable Duo? Thank you so much, Just Mobile. You get a free shout out. Oh, this is a two-in-one USB charger. Huh. Just, we have an iPhone or an Android. Uh, no switch between the two. Uh, very cool. Right, so a mini uh, micro USB, and then you plug it in here. Oh, it becomes nice. your uh, lightning. Very cool. I love it. I love it. Right, so let's hold up all the swag and all the cool goodbyes. stuff here. So thank you so much Very to cool. James. James, I hope you uh, learned thank something. You. Yeah. I hope you guys learned That's something. Fun. Thank you, Wind and Google Just Mobile. I hope you guys learned something. If you haven't, go watch the other episodes. Check out James on Unleash Your Power P W R or P O W R. Oh, you have both. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter. Much of life. Wow. Cool. Right. I'm walking down the street. Hopefully, I don't get mugged. <laughs> Roger, man. Awesome. Be well. Yep. Have a great one. Uh, take the microphone off. Oh, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah. See you, man. Yeah, bye bye. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Marcin, out. I use my, my ravishing good looks and my. Of course you do. <laughs> I mean, when you got it, you flaunt it. You got it, exactly. Would you say that your good looks have helped you be a better coach? <laughs>